So we went over air handlers, and now we have to distribute the air. So as, we, as we've discussed in the past, one of the most important things that you want in a pre-war is to maintain its character. The character includes the beams, ceiling heights, and so on and so forth. As you can see on top, this is a very typical pre-war construction. You have the horizontal beams and then the cross beams. You want to maintain them. You don't want to lower the ceiling. This is something that is important in this project and something that we are going to maintain. Right here, you see this is the air handler, a vertical one that will stand inside the closet that we discussed in the previous video. We're going to have a network of ducts, insulated ductwork, to prevent condensation and whatnot, to go throughout the apartment, however, in a hidden way. This will allow us to distribute the air to these rooms without taking away from any of the ceiling heights. So let me show you right here. We're going to have two zones in this apartment, which means we're going to have two air handles. As we've discussed in the previous video, one of them is going to sit in this closet. From this closet, this zone will control these bedrooms. Inside of the rooms, via the closet ceiling heights and an entrance hallway, we have dropped the ceiling just about 14 inches or so in order to run ductwork, insulated ductwork in the ceilings that will allow us to distribute air into each room centered above the doorway, as well as an outlet in the hallway to maintain the hallway clean. And that will run through the bathroom. It will feed the bathroom here. It will feed the primary bathroom, as well as the primary bedroom. And this is that outlet. We're not done with this ductwork yet. It's going to come make a quick turn here to distribute the air into this room. This is one way to maintain the ceiling heights in the hallway and in the rest of the apartment. The second zone of this apartment would have for the common areas. The common areas would have a ductwork that would distribute air to the kitchen, the living room, the formal dining room, and the auxiliary bedroom slash study. That ductwork will run through these closets, again, into this room with an outlet into the dining room, an outlet into the kitchen, and one cutout, as you could see over there, through the actual wall to the living room. And that's how we mask the ductwork, distribute air properly without compromising any of these beautiful ceilings or ceiling heights.